Hey there, sweet scientists. Welcome to Lab Rats. My name is Nico, and today we're going to be diving into the caramel conundrum. You remember that sweet caramel sundae you had? Or maybe that hard caramel candy you had? Well, believe it or not, those are actually made from the same simple ingredients. Most of them are made from just sugar, water, milk, butter, and maybe a few extra flavor additives, like vanilla extract. You might be asking, Nico, how? They're so different. One's a silky, smooth caramel, and the other one's a hard caramel candy. It all comes down to the temperatures they were cooked at. For soft caramels, like a caramel syrup, they're usually cooked at around 225 degrees Fahrenheit. And the hard ones, they're cooked at upwards of 300 degrees Fahrenheit. What's the difference between these two temperatures that leads to the difference? It's the water content. At lower temperatures, like 225, less water is able to be boiled off. And typically, those caramels are held at that temperature for a lot less time, leading to more water content in the final caramel syrup. And then the ones that are upwards of 300 degrees, all the water is boiled off, leading to just the sugar and milk solids being left behind, giving you a hard caramel candy that you can keep in your little cheek for a long time. So to explore the caramel conundrum, we're gonna be making two recipes. One, a hard caramel candy, and two, a silky smooth caramel ribbon. For these recipes, you're gonna need some pots and pans, the ingredients listed on the screen, parental supervision, a gas or electric stove, and a lot of time. All right, let's get into it. For our first recipe, we're gonna be making soft caramel. You're gonna start by heating your granulated sugar over medium heat while making sure to stir constantly. You're gonna stir that until the sugar melts into a thick brown liquid. And it should take roughly about five to six minutes. And you gotta keep stirring it or else your sugar is gonna burn. Once your sugar is fully melted, you're gonna to wanna to add in all of the butter and stir rapidly. Once the butter and sugar are completely combined, you're gonna slowly add the heavy cream in portions and keep stirring the whole way through just to make sure nothing burns. And be careful not to add everything at once because the sugar mixture is gonna bubble a lot. So you're gonna to wanna to be extra careful to add it in very small portions. Once you've added all of your heavy cream, Stop stirring and let the mixture boil for about one minute. After a minute, take it off the heat and stir in all of your salt. The caramel should end up being a thin liquid at this point. And after letting it cool, it should be ready to serve as a little bit thicker caramel syrup. Plus, you can use the microwave to heat the caramel to the desired consistency for your recipe. I recommend this on caramel sundaes or even some brownies. Delicious. Now. It's time for our hard caramel recipe. You're gonna to wanna to start by adding your water and corn syrup to a soft pan and mix until they're combined. Then add your sugar and stir it into the water corn syrup mixture until it's fully combined. Then place your sauce pan on your stove and turn the stove onto medium heat until the sugar comes to a boil. Then take a lid and cover the sauce pan for one minute. After one minute, you can remove the lid, but be sure that the lid isn't too hot. And if it is, Use some cooking gloves. Then, using a thermometer, continue to cook this mixture until it reaches 320 degrees Fahrenheit. This should take anywhere from between five to 10 minutes, depending on how high your stove is. Once the sugar is at 325 degrees, add in roughly one sixth of the butter and cream mixture and continue to stir. This mixture is gonna bubble a lot during this time. So be careful to only add one sixth of the butter. Once all of your butter and cream is added, the temperature is gonna fall rapidly. Let it heat until it reaches 240 degrees Fahrenheit. At that temperature, take it off the saucepan, pour it into a butter tray with parchment paper lining it, and let it cool. After 20 to 30 minutes of cooling, sprinkle salt over it, and let it cool for another 3.5 hours. And there you have it, some nice chewy caramel. Now that you got your sweet treats, let's talk some science. These two different caramels you have in front of you, one's silky smooth, and we know that one, is silky smooth because it was cooked to a lower temperature, leading to more water content in the final product. And the other one is kind of a hard or chewy caramel, depending on how high your temperature got. And that one has less water in it, leading to more firm and maybe even crunchy texture to it. But the only thing we changed was temperature. So as you go out and cook more in your life, think about this. Even with the same ingredients and time cooking, you can always vary the temperature and get two very drastic outcomes. So. With that, we've now solved the caramel conundrum and you've learned a little bit more about cooking. So remember, stay sweet scientists and happy sciencing.